wait. at the beginning you guys know what is about to happen yeah disaster <laughs> i mean i'm kidding i just hope it doesn't happen really disaster because i'm literally gonna break my hair tomorrow i could have dyed my hair like earlier yes i could the products were here since yesterday what was i doing I was cooking, <laughs> making video that is only gonna come out the 1st of February, like I do have time to do that later, but I did that early and the video is gonna come out like in two weeks, what is it, what by the way, I'm gonna break my hair tomorrow, I'm so stressed, oh, but anyway, it's 6pm and something, and Just might keep playing with the door downstairs. Okay, so the produce has arrived and the mask actually, I think it, yeah, it opened so a little bit was peeled. Um, the package uh, that these things arrived were very poor kind of package. I think because he's working with, um, plastics that can like be break he could use boxes or at least like put some bubble paper around but he didn't and he's in a plastic so this was brought and it's filled but anyway it's nothing like too dramatic so um, Okay guys, <laughs> it's time, let's do it, hmm, hmm, oh my god, Five. actually, I'm gonna wash my hair, then I'm gonna come here and put the, with you guys, because I'm not gonna take you guys in the bathroom with me, see you in a minute. Hair wash, guys. Now it's time to put into my hair. Oh, I need to take. Give me a second. I needed a bowl so I don't put like my hands directly here. Good. Now it's time to. Oh, Do I have something I can put there? Okay, I don't. So I'm gonna do this. I'm not touching with my. Yeah, I'm putting my finger in the cream, but I wrapped with. It's not foil paper with the. Oh, film paper. So yeah. Yeah? I think that's good. Nice. Jeez, did I have to do that into my forehead? Okay. Before I even start properly, I'm gonna put the Chinese drama that I'm watching on the computer because guys this is like so good like when I tell you it's good good that I can't even stop myself from from watching over and over again so I'm gonna be watching guys anyway I'm gonna start and then this computer is taking like a lifelong time
Let's wrap these guys and Breaking. No, 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 don't break. Oh, it's moving. Ah, can you just stay there in the place? In the salon, this don't move. What's happening? Okay, now I'm going to put a time of, of one hour and when the an hour is done, I'm going to be back. Let's go again. I look cute. I look, <laughs> I look so weird. Let me try something. Okay, just... I'm not trying anything guys, I'm just messing things around, when I start trying, I'm gonna start trying clothes and yeah, I'll see you guys in an hour. It's been an hour guys, and let's take this and brush our hair, then go wash it and then come and put this and wish it, it stays on my hair, <laughs> because otherwise my hair is gonna be yellow tomorrow when I braid my hair. I think I think my hair looks looks it feels more how do I explain this healthy or yeah but anyways I'm gonna wash my hair and wash not really wash just take this mask and then come here to apply the paint let's do that I'm back guys and I just learned that it's better to dye my hair dye dye my hair um, when my hair is oh my nail when my hair is wet I mean dry because the paint will stay in my hair for will last for longer basically and I was about to just put in my wet hair 
good thing something just told me like maybe I go and do some research because if you die, if you die with your hair uh, wet there's no problem it's not gonna damage your hair just the hair color won't stay for that long and I'm not bleaching my hair so I should at least do other things well so the paint at least feels some kind of pain for me and stays there let's see how it's gonna end guys so I'm gonna dry my hair I found my dry hair dryer I couldn't found and it was just inside this wardrobe so it smells so good like seriously Okay, let's try. I look like a crazy I look like a crazy person. I forgot the foil, so I'm gonna go get it. I'll be back. Ah, I'm back. And I bought yeah. Okay. So let's put the gloves. Because we don't ow. We don't wanna paint our hands. Oh, my head hurts. <sighs> Gosh. Okay, ready to operate this her it's need of operation and Ooh, it's so like orange. <laughs> I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna put anything because I don't have that thing to put, so I'm gonna put like straight from here. Let's pray. We need some prayers. Please pray for us. Pray for us. Uh, let's do like this so I don't mess up my. Ooh, I'm already messing up. Okay, I'm gonna do this very quickly for you guys because I'm watching. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I'm watching days so I can be a little bit more interesting while I do my hair. Okay, I'm so sorry. Wait. Okay, 15 to, 10, uh, to 20 minutes, then I'm gonna wash this up. See you guys in a bit. <clears throat> Time is up, guys. So, let me, excuse me, let me take this first. Oh, no, 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 actually, I'm gonna do something that they normally do in the salon. I'm gonna blow with the hot to make it like hard. Anyway, 
nice. I'm just saying, I think this. Oh. As you guys can see, the roof still black as expected. Okay, we need this to be mixed, please. We mix it. I just hope some color is left here. Now, let me go wash my hair and I'll be back with you guys in literally a second. Like, guys. <laughs> I was expecting to probably not even color but look how orange it is and I mean I have the conditioner that's why it's a little bit white but it's super orange like I wasn't expecting to be this orange because it didn't bleach <sighs> I'm just putting the conditioner and massages like in my scalp. Oh, it feels good. Wait! No, 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 wait, wait, where is, where is the, what is it? Is it? I need to see the comments for this. <laughs> I'm actually shocked. What you mean? Try you. What are you doing, gay? Why are you acting like you don't like him? Just accept the Why is it that hard? No, just say yes, you like him. Oh my god, you've been trying this for so long. Like, why if you like the nap?
。好的，今天采访到这儿就要结束了，我们也感谢各位媒体朋友的支持，谢谢。I'm gonna take this out of my hair and I'll be back with you guys in a bit. <sighs> in bed, orange. Oh, my hair feels soft, guys, and it's orange. The thing I like about this um, color, I mean, this um, tint, hair coloring. If that it doesn't leave like it doesn't actually you watch and stuff, you don't have anything in your hands, you know? It's very good. See? My hair is soft. I don't have to do much and it goes straight to the left. Oh my god, it smells so good. Come check in again, not time, not you know. Nan Amu Maito has to go up such a Okay guys, I'm going to relax, go downstairs, clean the living room, clean the kitchen and then come back to sleep and wake up tomorrow at 5am and cook and get ready to braid my hair at 9am. So I'll see you guys when I have father's notes about my hair. Goodbye darlings, goodbye, okay, goodbye. <laughs> feel like crying guys like seriously feel just like bawling my eyes like right <laughs> oh you guys saw all this work i went through like washing my hair painting uh, dyeing my hair again and 
all these things so much work I put on my hair because tomorrow I had an appointment like I said but the girl that was gonna braid my hair she just sent me a message telling me that I may have been discomfortable and I was very like unlikely like to ask her for favor and I was very kind when I asked her. I was not like oh you have to do the COVID test before you come to my house I was like I actually asked her if she could do it like I didn't obligate anyone to do it because she's coming to my house and Christopher as you guys know since probably day one I started this channel he is a special kid he has so many health problems and I'm always like scared that he will catch some other things and oh, it will just lead to something bigger you know so everyone that comes to my house like I always ask my cousins my fr actually I don't even receive much people in my house but if I go to someone else's house in my father's house I always do the COVID test and they always do it or if they are coming here which it actually didn't happen since COVID didn't came here but like anytime I'm going there or I'm going like to someone else's house I always do the COVID test especially if I'm bringing Christopher just to make sure that I'm fine just to make sure you know that everything is okay so I just asked her if she could do it and she actually was very good about it, very cool she said Leah it's fine no worries I'll do it and she said oh I think the pharmacy is closed uh, because yeah it was sad today and so I was like oh I have here if you don't mind like I don't mind I can give you one she was like what do you have Leah that's fine um can you give me one I was like yeah fine no worries and everything was cool like until 6 p.m. today or yesterday I think today is Sunday already it's literally past midnight and she asked me actually because she speaks Portuguese um, but since beginning I never mentioned to her that I did speak Portuguese just because I didn't want to mix things I don't know anyways I just didn't want to mix things so she asked me if I speak Portuguese. I don't know. Probably she saw something. I don't know. I don't know why she asked me if I did speak Portuguese. But I told her, yeah, I didn't want to lie because I mean I was never lying to her. I was just hiding that. I mean, like she never asked me, and I was just speaking English with her. But when she asked me, I was like, yeah, why not tell her I speak Portuguese? I was like, yeah, I do speak Portuguese. Uh, and she answered like, oh, okay. And I was like. I wanted to ask her like why did you ask but then I was like um, I'm not gonna ask that probably it's just like no that interesting anyways and she just like I was doing all this work I wasn't even paying attention in my phone to answer any message and stuff and now that I had some time I went to check my message and I just got a message that she cannot come to my house because she had read the message that I sent to her and I actually what I'm gonna put here and she found it that it was very unlikely for me to ask her to do the COVID test and I'm just here I'm actually feeling sad because in no way like I was trying to make her feel uncomfortable I was just asking her because of course after my hair after anyone else comes my son's health and if I have to ask someone even if it's my family to do the COVID test to come to my house I'll do it and if that person doesn't agree I will just say then like let's figure out something else you know maybe one day that my son is not home maybe I'll go to you because she also does like a job on her own house <sighs> I'm tired guys I worked so much yesterday I didn't sleep until now because I was doing my like preparing my hair as you guys saw early like making sure that the, the hair is straight and stuff so that the job could be done and then I get these knots you know um, I'm a mother guys 
and as a mom I always have everything planned so everything was planned and I, I hate when my plans doesn't go through like specifically if it's nothing like major happening just for some small mistake and it could not happen I just feel anxious and then I, feel, I start overthinking what I'm gonna do now what's the next step I just feel like bad that she felt offended and nowadays I just think people are too sensitive over small things because if we're going over a pandemic and I already explained that my son has health problems and I asked you if you could do it, you agreed and then later on, literally not even 24 hours, you let me know that you can't attend the appointment because you thought about a message that I sent you like literally a day before you thought about only today I just feel like there is something else behind you know because I just can't understand until now like why she would cancel it's not like I told him she said oh I cannot come I'm cancelled she agreed she was fine with it and then like she just cancelled like that like it's not even eight hours apart and she just I mean it's eight hours yeah it's not 12 hours apart but it's eight hours apart and I'm just here like trying I'm I'm gonna braid my hair myself right but I really didn't want to. I wanted someone to braid because I wanna really, I really, really wanted to do this short hairstyle that is coming here on the screen. And I knew that I wouldn't be able to do it by myself. So I wanted someone professional to do it. Like since I came to UK, nobody has ever done my braids professionally. I always did myself. And this time I really wanted someone to do it. It's very hard to find someone that can do good braids. And I really like her job. I'm, even though I'm very disappointed for what she's doing right now, it doesn't make me dislike her work, you know? Just makes me not like her that much because I seriously thought she was a very good person, you know? And just the fact that the reason she gave me to cancel the appointment doesn't make sense. It kind of makes me think differently from her. Um, I'm, very, I'm very upset. Very upset. Very, uh, very upset. Probably I shouldn't like trust other people anyway. I think that's why I am i don't trust people that easy because when I trust them they just disappoint me and then they gave me they give me like lame excuses for why they are doing that and that just makes me feel literally not believing in them and I feel like every time I give some space to trust in them they do it over again you know i'm not saying her i'm just saying in general you know like in general in my life when i give opportunity to people so that's why i always braid my hair myself because i'm like i don't want to commit to something that then they will not come and i'll get stressed I'm just gonna sit here and watch some sad things and cry because yeah I know tomorrow I'm not gonna bring my hair so I don't have to wake up early anyway and it's life see you guys tomorrow um I'll probably braid my own hair myself even though it's not the style I wanted but I'll still braid my hair I didn't go through all this to just give up in the middle of it <sighs> my hair my face looks puffy right now, very very puffy. I I ate popcorn and then it's past midnight. <sighs> but who cares anyway anymore? I'm not braiding my hair tomorrow, so I can do whatever I want. Do whatever, how late I want.
2,000 years later.